bushcraft, out snowshoeing today. Well, what happens if you're out in the woods and you need a pair of snowshoes, but you don't have them? Well, stick with me, because I'm going to show you how to make a pair out in the bush. Thanks. Hey guys, this is Brian. Um, today, what I want to do is I want to show you how to make this snowshoe in the bush. It's pretty simple. Um, it is consisting of five sticks. They're about as tall as I am. Okay, There is room for adjustment. Um, I'll get into that part of it a little bit later. But we have five sticks. We have one, two, three, four, five. Okay, We want them to be skinnier at the toe. And we want them to be a little bit heavier at the bottom. Basically it's load bearing. We also want the tail of the snowshoe to always ride below when you lift your foot up. You don't want your toe to go down because it'll dig in. You'll hook the toe and then you'll fall. We also will be pulling the toe up. Um, let me go get my materials. Let me show you the tools. We're going to put this bad boy together and then we're going to take it for a test run. Thanks. Alright guys. Basically what I've done is I've gone out and cut several branches, sticks. I need to actually just trim a couple up. that we need to make these are relatively simple. A saw and a knife. Bank line, which I really prefer for the bindings or for the lashings, I'm sorry. And about 10 feet of paracord. So I have my five branches or saplings. I hope you can see this. I hope this is in the frame. What I've done is I've just loosely taken some bank line, tied them with the toe. What I'm going to do is I just want to wrap this for now. Okay. Now, I want to leave it kind of loose so it's a little flexible. All right. All right. Now what I want to do is I want to find my balance point. And the balance point, okay, what I want is I want to make sure that that is where a cross piece is going to go. Now when I find the balance point, okay, which is going to be around in here, I want to move up about two inches. This way I know that when I put my cross piece in here, this is where my toe is going to be. It's heavier in the back than it is in the front. So that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to mark that. And we're going to go from there. Now I need to cut my cross piece. I'm going to put one here. Measure with my foot get back to the heel and we'll put another one in. Hey guys, what I've done is I've cut my cross pieces and I've shaved off a little bit of them. I've just done a little baton work. Okay. And the only reason why I did this is because I wanted a flat area to sit on my sticks when I lash it so that it doesn't roll around and it's a little bit more safe and secure. Uh, here's my two cross pieces. I'm going to lash them, or start lashing them. I'm going to show you that and uh, show you how I pull the toe up and uh, we'll go from there. Thanks. Okay. my 
access for the time being. All right, guys. So the first piece is tied in. I'm going to measure this out. Out in here is where I'm going to want my next one. All right, guys. My toe lashing is done, and my heel lashing is done. Now we're going to tie up the toe. Okay. Now we're going to tie up the toe, and we're going to lift it up. Then we're going to do the tail, and then we're going to put the binding on, and then I'm going to take him for a walk. Stick with me. All right, I'll be guys. Back. This is what I've done. I've looped my paracord around the toe of my snowshoes. I put a paracord loop in here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to run this back to it. Okay. I have it a little bit elevated. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a bow in this. Just like this. I'm going to pull this up. And keep it tight. I'm going to wrap it around. Up top. And then I'm going to tie this off. Okay, so it keeps the toe up a little bit. Yeah. All right. Now that's going to keep my toe up a little bit higher. Okay. Now, last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to lash my tails so that they're not flopping around so they don't get broken. So hold on. We'll put the bindings on and then we're going to take them for a run. Alright guys, on the tails, all you want to do is just keep your, your webbing loose. You just don't want them flopping around all over the place. So what I've done is I've just cross-stitched back and forth between them and then I'm just going to Tie it off loosely. Okay, just to tighten it. And then this way, everything stays all nice. for a binding is basically this is climbing rope I saw this on Dave's channel he used it for his pair of snowshoes I had some left over as a good idea so I'm gonna use it I'm an equal opportunity to learn I'll learn from anybody if it works so what I want to do is I want to take my webbing and I'm gonna go through the top and come up through and up through. All right, I'm going to adjust it. Okay. 
Now, let me just readjust the camera. What I would do is, is I'm going to come up over the top. I'm going to go over. And I'm going to come down through. Come back up one more time. Go down through. have a loop. Now what I like to do then is I'm gonna come in the front, cinch it off, I come in the front, and I cinch it off. Okay? Now now my loop's not going anywhere. I'm gonna cross in the front around from behind and then come in and tie it off okay now if I've done this right when I walk it pivots okay so it's not as good as I want it to be the other one came out a little bit better but as you can see where the foot is, it's almost just about balanced. I probably should have moved it up a little bit more. So, so let me get the other one on, and then we're going to go for a walk. Alright guys, well they work pretty good, uh, they need a little bit of adjustment in the bindings, um, I hope you enjoyed it, I appreciate any comments or any tips that you may have, thanks for watching, and uh, until the next one, thanks.